let's see who joins us first. Um, if I see, if I, ugh, if I don't reply to you, it's because I am adding my link to share on Discord. My thumbnail is still wrong. Okay. All right, there you are. All right, little guacs. Come hang out. Hi, Donabelle. Hi, Carmen. Hey, Jenny. What are you guys up to tonight? Ask if you sound okay. Oh, do I sound okay? Because my mic, the cord on my mic is like broken right it's now. Barely hanging on. It's barely hanging on. So, will you guys let me know how I sound? Can you hear me okay? Do I sound funny? Hi, I am Lolo. Okay, awesome. Sorry I'm late too. Um, I had to scarf down some food. I haven't ate today, so I was starving. So I just scarfed down a burger and got everything set up for the live, and now we're here. That's awesome, Carmen. I still need to make a video using your Valentine's design. I want to make my sh myself a shirt using that design. So I'm thinking my next video will be Valentine's Day designs. I'm thinking. Um, Loretta, that's awesome. You, um, you went live for the first time. How did it go? Perfect. Thank you, 18 Crafty Boutique. Um, hi, Sandra. Hi, Dahlia. Hey, Linda. Thank you guys for hopping on. Sorry I'm late. So I'm from now on. I have a set schedule. I had to um, ask my mom and work out a schedule with her. Um, so I'm gonna be going live on Tuesday nights from five to seven and Saturday nights from five to seven. And then I'm gonna try and post two to three videos a week. Hopefully I can maintain that. Definitely two videos a week. Um, but I wanna be able to put out as much content as I can for you guys. I stayed up till 5 a.m. this morning working on my video that I just posted. Um, so if you haven't watched it after you are done here hanging out with me during my live I would love for you guys to go check out that video um, And make sure to give it a like My goal is to get to 5,000 subs by the end of the month. I'm currently at like 2092 I believe so um, Hopefully hopefully I can get reach my goal. I'm hoping Um Dal, you're able to see the chat now. I'm assuming you can since you're able to comment. <laughs> Loretta, I'm, so, I'm happy that you're able to catch me live. So from now on, Tuesdays from 5 to 7 and Saturdays at 5 to 7. Ish. Um, yeah, ish, I should say. Um, it just depends, but it's going to be somewhere between that time. Um... Thank you, Jenny. I had a lot of fun making these pocket shirts. I'm actually going to be making more tonight because I have, let me move all my stuff. I made my shirt with this fabric, made my son Jackson a shirt with this fabric. I actually need to make Mason one too, so I'm going to be making Mason a shirt tonight. And then I have all these Easter designs and I have one St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to try and bust out as many samples as I can because I am so behind with holiday shirts. Like I missed completely out on Christmas. I just waited too long to get shirts up. 
it's already the 16th so now i'm worried I'm, it's too late to get valentine's shirts up um so i definitely want to try and get my saint patrick's day and all my easter stuff up um hopefully i feel like easter anyways because it's like a big holiday um that hopefully will be a big seller for me so i definitely want to get all my easter designs up Yes, Pauline Jones, thank you. Don't forget to like this video. I have 23 viewers right now. Um, so if you can hit that like button for me, that'd be awesome. <laughs> Pauline, you're stalking YouTube for, for me to go live. <laughs> well, thank you. Um, hi, Atia. Um, I thought we lost it to Discord. What do you mean, Sandra? We, I thought we lost it to Discord. Hi, Eugene. It's about time you finally caught a live. You always comment on all my videos, so thank you for watching. And guys, Eugene, <laughs> I'm going to tell you guys a secret. Eugene Gordo is actually um, one of my husband's burner accounts. <laughs> So if you guys see a bunch of like funny, silly comments on my YouTube videos from Eugene Gordo, it's it's my husband. And we call it a burner account because like when I first started out on YouTube, I wasn't getting like any views. Um, and to help get you like into the algorithm, leaving comments and getting views helps. So my husband, he would always put on that account, comment and then uh, watch the video from that account. It's my little hack. <laughs> uh, thanks, Jay Wilson, Jay Wilson, for liking. Um, the cat's out of the bag. Yep. <laughs> I am ratting them out, Pauline. <laughs> Can't tell me anything. Nope. I don't keep secrets from my little Glox. Yep, Carmen. So if Eugene Gordo wins a giveaway, now you know. <laughs> Self snitches. <laughs> um, all right. So if I say your name wrong, I'm so sorry. But um, let me try and pronounce it. Usabia? Hopefully I'm saying that right. Um, hi, hello, I'm from California. So it is uh, 8.30 over there. So it's getting late, but thank you for watching. Yes, I'm really bad at ratting myself out. It's hard for me to keep secrets. I have one secret though I am keeping from you guys and it's so hard not to like slip up. Um, stitches get stitches. <laughs> um, Ah, but I have a surprise for you guys, but I'm going to wait to announce it. It's something that I've been like looking forward to for a very long time. It's not an embroidery machine, but it's something else that I'm very proud to be adding to my Etsy and to my website and all that stuff. Eric, are ready to hustle? You better not tell my secret. It's a surprise. Hi, Joe Davies, all the way from Canada. Welcome, welcome. I'm all the way in California. <laughs> A team, Crafty Boutique. I did the same. I would have my family leave comments and likes. Yes, of course, your family should be doing that. Uh, my brother, his girlfriend, um, a bunch of like Facebook friends too. Like they're always very supportive and commenting and like sharing my videos. So thanks to them. I really appreciate it. Even my niece, Grace, she always is like watching my videos. I don't know if she's watching me right now, but she's always, as soon as I post a video, she always watches. Uh, I know, Carmen, I need to change my 1K to a 2. My son, Jackson, he loves balloons, and he's been like asking me like every day to like to be able to play with the balloons, and I told him once I get to 5K, I'll give him the 1. So I can switch it out for a five. Oh, 
ready so i'm going to leave my venmo you guys want to know you know what to do stop <laughs> Uh, Brooklyn, New York. Hello, Sherry. Hi, Sanadia. How are you? Thank you for stopping by. Uh, Jay Wilson has a break into the piggy bank. Oh, you mean Grace E. Hustle? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We need to hurry up and get you to 5K so he can have that gallon. What do you mean, have that gallon? Or about that balloon, you mean? Yes, we need to get to 5K so Jackson can get that, that balloon. He's been asking every day for it. Um, okay, balloon, not gallon. <laughs> Dang phone, my phone. I have like fat fingers, so anytime I, I type, Nothing comes out like how it's supposed to, and that darn autocorrect too um, is a pain in my butt. Uh... <gasps> Sonata, you got a Cricut Maker? How exciting! What are you gonna make first once you get it? Like, what's your big thing that you wanna make? I think the first thing that I made with my Cricut was, um, I wanna say a t-shirt I made. Same fat finger sisters, yes. Sausage fingers over Instead here. Of CC squad. <laughs> <laughs> Instead of CC squad, we could be at FF. FF squad. <laughs> fat finger squad. <laughs> oh, that darn phone. Oh, yeah, Jay Wilson. I should probably use the um, the voice thingy for texting too. But I feel like I get my words all mixed up all the time. I would still probably get my text messages and messages all mixed up. What was the first thing you made with the PE 800? First thing I made was a baby blanket. Um, I tried doing onesies too, um, and I didn't do very good with that. So I stopped doing that. Um, but I just, um, if you saw my last video, I just tried embroidering shirts again. I've been way too scared to do it because I'm like afraid to get my finger like hit by the needle. So um, at least with these pocket designs, you don't like have to completely babysit it and make sure like the t-shirt the doesn't get in the way. You still need to watch it, wa watch it but it, you don't need to like sit with it the entire time. So I feel a little safer doing pocket tees on my embroidery machine than actually doing like a number applique and like a design with their name. When I get my big machine, um, I'm gonna start doing like number appliques and stuff. That's so awesome, Carmen. Yeah, I can't wait to make that space design. <laughs> my son told me, mom, it takes you five minutes to text hi. Yep, that's me. Cause I'll text out a phrase and I'm like, you know what, I don't like how that sounds. So I go back and delete it and then write out a new one still don't like it and then I just I delete messages so many times before I actually send a message thank you Sanadia I made this last night um, I'm gonna be making more shirts tonight too so while I'm chatting with you guys I'm gonna go ahead and get started so yeah, I have too, right? hmm? I made that one on video too right yeah I made this one on video um I'm going to be using some more AJ blanks um if you guys haven't tried AJ Blanks yet. I totally recommend. Um, it was my first time using them last night, and these are a game changer. The quality of the shirt is amazing, and it, the stitches just uh, looked great on the shirt. So if I could have Mr. Red E, can you put my link for AJ Blanks in the chat for me? Okay, and then I'm going to ask you guys, which one should I make first? So I'm making some mock-ups. So I have this one, I have this one, and I have this one. This one I'm saving for one of my shirts, so I'm only going to pick from one of these three. So uh, which one would you guys like to see me make first? I have the rabbits, 
the St. Patrick's Day dog one, and then just some eggs. Which one do you guys want to see first? <clears throat> see rabbits, rabbits, doggy, dog. Dog, dog, rabbits. Ooh, it's gonna be a tie, I think, between rabbits and the dog. Rabbits, okay. Okay, let's go ahead and let's do, let's do the rabbits first, because I think that'll be hopefully a big seller for me. So let's go ahead and do that one first. I think Easter shirts will do better than like um, the St. Patrick's Day ones. I just feel like people are more likely to get like personalized shirts and just shirts in general for Easter. Um, thank you, I am Lolo. Nice seeing you, catch you on the next one. I pick rabbits. Okay, I'll, I'll make the rabbits just for you. Thank you for the super chat, I appreciate that. Any money that I earn is going right into my um, savings account that I just started for my embroidery machine. I just started it last night, so when I get my first paycheck from YouTube and all the money from like my super chats and um, all my affiliate like um, affiliate points or not points, but money that I earned for AJ Blanks. I can't talk right now. Um, those are all going into my savings account to get a multi-needle machine because my credit is not the best right now this year. Um, honestly, has been really hard on financially on my family. So my credit is not the best right now. So I tried reaching out to one company to try and see like how well I'll do with like financing and I didn't get much for it. So... I'm going to have to have a nice good down payment. So any money that I'm any money I get from YouTube is going right into my savings account and I'm hoping hoping I can get it by March. That's like my big goal is to get it by March. <laughs> okay. Let's see. So I'm making this one for Mason. So I'm going to try and get more of like, the boyish colors. Okay, so Nadia, I'm going to be making a pocket tee. Basically like the one I just, I'm wearing right now. I'm just going to do it on a kid's shirt. Um, let's see. Let me show you Jackson's real fast. So I made this one last night for Jackson. Um, I need to make Mason one too. But basically I just made a little pocket tee on my embroidery machine. It is functional, so you can put stuff in it. But the design that I also bought, you can also make like a, a faux pocket um, to where you can't put anything on it. It'll just, it'll have the satin stitches all the way around. Um, but I wanted the pocket to be functional, so I just left it as is. Yes, PJ Mommy, I need to put a big March, just the word March, uh, maybe even like do a date too, but like March 1st, March 15th, March 30th, but I need to put something on my vision board so I can remind myself, okay, this is what I'm working towards and this is my, my time limit. I need to get it done by March. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm going to take my little piece of fabric and I'm going to fold the top of the piece of fabric a quarter of an inch and then do it again. And I'm gonna take this to my sewing machine real fast. And I'm going to top stitch it. 
because this is going to be like the top of the pocket so um because i want it to be functional you will be like touching it and um you don't want like the fabric to fray so i like to do just like a top stitch to help keep those the edges from fraying like this right here yeah yes carmen prayers yes i, I pray like every day um you know, obviously I tell, you know, God what I'm like thankful for, but I do, I do ask him for a lot of things. I am going to manifest it. That's right. 18 Crafty Boutique. Um, wow, beautiful. I did, I did so different. Yours is so much, or is so much beautiful. Thank you. All right, so um, let me, um, I need to go plug in my sewing machine real fast. Um, I don't know if I want to bring it over here or not. Should I bring it over here, you think? Or just do it over there? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, trying to do it on camera? No. I'm just, uh. Do you have room? I don't have room, really. Let me, I'll be right back. try and do it over here we'll see i don't really like sewing standing up it's too hard you announce in discord that you're live? um i posted a link on discord but i didn't post like anywhere else um yeah she has a live section yep. so if you go over to her live section you can add the link Yeah, you trying to earn some tips, ready? Oh, trying to make that yes. money? Super chats. He's trying to get those super chats, oh. guys. The PJ Mommy beat us to it. Be what she do. She already posted it. Oh, thank you, PJ Mommy. You're always on it. Thank you. Only by a day. She's fast. She is. Dang. Okay. Let's see if my cord will reach. A little bit. Yeah. Uh, Eric, if I unplug one of these, is it going to mess everything up, like this charger? You can unplug it up. Okay, hopefully this will work. Um, where'd my little piece go? Yeah, we can't be showing everyone all your your freaky moves, ready? How do you think he got the name Hustle, guys? Okay, sorry if this is loud. My machine is um, super old. So if it's loud, I'm so sorry. just top stitched the little piece of fabric that I have now I can go ahead and move this out of the way chat on my computer is behind so I'm gonna look over here on my TV yeah the same sewing machine Jay Wilson like that the machine that I have is such a horse like well it's not a horse anymore um, but that machine has lasted me it's my baby that machine helped start all of Nita and Thread I definitely need to get a new one but 
I'm just not ready. I love my machine too much. Question, have you tried embroidering a character on the pocket first and then place it on the shirt? I have not, but that is an idea that I do have. Mm. Let's see. Where's my ruler? There it is. Sorry guys, I feel like I'm unorganized right now. Um, my husband gave it to me for a, a birthday gift. How nice. Okay, so basically what I'm doing right now is I'm trying to find the spot where I'm going to put, um, embroider the pocket on. So I like to take my ruler and line it up to the collar, draw a line down, and then from like the armpit, I also draw a line across and then wherever the two lines meet, that's where the center of the pocket will be. So I have this water, not water, this air soluble marker. I'm going to use this to mark my spot and then the marker, it will like disappear on its own um, or you can just spritz it with some water and it will dissolve and disappear. Oh, my mom is sending my husband pictures of the boys because my boys are at my mom. So like I said at the beginning of the chat, if you guys missed it, um, Tuesdays and Saturdays from 5 to 7, that's like going to be my set time for um, going live. So I have my mom watching my boys um, because it would just be too chaotic to be able to try and do lives with them because Mason would probably try and like whip out my my boob to everyone because uh, he still nurses so I don't want that happening okay so here is the little line oops I accidentally sprayed my adhesive spray on it first I actually need to mark the points on my stabilizer first and then I would, then I would spray it but hopefully I can still get it to work Oh, yes, Beth, like the little peekaboo characters. Yes, I definitely want to try those. I actually have like one peekaboo like Yoda that I might do for a pocket tee where he just kind of like pokes out. Okay, so I have my lines. Now I'm going to take my shirt and flip it inside out. Yes, Pauline, I wanted to like um, give you guys a set time so like you guys know when I go live so you don't miss it. Um, All right, my chat is still behind on the computer. So Nadia, yay, so that's a good time for you. I'm happy. Guadalupe, you are so inspiring to all of us hardworking moms. Thank you for reaching us or teaching us all that you know. I'm so glad I found you. Well, I'm so happy you found me too. And thank you for subscribing and supporting my channel. It means a lot. And I'm so happy that I'm able to inspire people because so many of you and so many other people have inspired me, so I want to be able to give back to all you guys. Okay. Mm. 
Okay, so I have my shirt stuck on the hoop. I'm floating it. I still need to do my video on floating minky fabric. That's something I need to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill my bobbin. It's low. Okay, so while I fill, fill this bobbin, um, I'm doing this piece of fabric. So what color for like the border of the patch, or not the patch, but the pocket. So for like the satin stitches, what color do you think I should do? I'm doing this for Mason, so I guess like a gender neutral color or a boyish color. Let me know in the chat what you guys think. What color should I do? Please show us how to set it. So um, I drew lines on the shirt and I drew lines on um, the stabilizer and I just matched up the lines and I'm floating the shirt. I used some 505 um, temporary adhesive spray to help the shirt stick to the, the hoop, I guess, so it doesn't move around. Yellow. Let's go with yellow. I think let's try let's let's, 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 let's test out yellow. So I think on my Etsy shop, um, I'm gonna give customers a choice when it comes to this fabric, what thread color they would like. So let's start out with yellow. Let's see how it looks. Are you guys working on anything right now? I know I have a bunch, a bunch, a bunch of Etsy orders that I need to work on. Um, but honestly, after staying up till like 5 a.m. this morning, I didn't have any energy to work on orders today. Um, and I kind of just want to do something fun with you guys. So I'm going to save all my orders for tomorrow and work on them tomorrow. Working on thank you cards for my packages. Do you like hand write every thank you note or card? I used to do that. I think now that I'm a lot more busier, I just don't have time. I kind of want to get pre-made 
cards. I need to do that. I still haven't gotten business cards yet, guys. Ugh. Okay, so I have my design uploaded onto my machine. I have everything um, attached to the arm. Um, so I'm just gonna do the tack down stitch, or not the tack down, the outline stitch. Okay, so I don't like how I place the fabric because you don't really, you don't really see any bunny rabbits. So I think I'm gonna have to pull out my seam ripper. I'm gonna try that again. If I can find my seam ripper. Sorry if I'm not interacting with the chat. I'm gonna undo this real fast, and then once I get it going on the embroidery machine, I'll be able to chat with you guys. I'm trying not to poke a hole in the shirt. If you watch my video, I actually accidentally cut a hole in this shirt. Um, and I still need to hand sew it. Somebody actually recommended using, um, what is it called? The stuff that you put on the back so the stitches don't irritate your skin. I can't think of it. So Nadia, are you able to sell a lot locally? I haven't tried posting any of like my handmade items on Facebook in a while. I have been posting my fabric on Facebook Marketplace because now you can like ship out to people. And that's actually been going okay. I've gotten a few sales. But where do you guys get your most sales, would you say? Do you get most of your sales from Etsy or do you get them from Facebook? I also have an eBay and I've actually done better on eBay um, than I've done on Etsy. But I don't sell none of my handmade items on eBay. Tender touch, yes. Someone recommend using tender, tender touch on the back and that should help um, close up that hole. Um, so I actually have tender touch, I just can't find it. So I actually need to go through my whole craft room and find it because I just haven't used it because I don't really make shirts on my embroidery machine so I just haven't had a need for it but now that I'm making pocket shirts I kind of need one I kind of need it okay so it is all I'm done I'm gonna redo that again
That's so hard to get unhooped. How do you guys unhoop your shirts? Such a pain. Okay, so that one's a little bit better. I'm not too sure about this fabric though. I'm thinking for like the tiny pocket squares, you might not be able to get like a whole rabbit in it. We'll see though how it turns out. Pauline, you get more local. Pauline, what do you sell locally? Do you sell the like tutus or just like birthday outfits? What do you sell? Ooh, Macari. I have yet to try Macari. I do have an account for Macari. I just haven't tried selling anything on Macari. Um, Samantha, what do you sell on Macari? So Pauline, you sell shirts. So I don't think this fabric, because of the size of the bunny rabbits, I don't think this will be the best print or the best fabric to do the little kids shirts. I think this fabric um, will be better for like an adult shirt, but we'll go ahead and make it anyways. Okay, so this part of the embroidery design, the satin stitches, it says it only takes four minutes. So that's kind of nice. I kind of like the idea of adding pocket shirts to my um, to my shop because they're so fast to make and they're so easy. Um, for the most part, I'm able just to kind of just keep an eye on it, but I can actually like step away and do other things and be able to multitask. That's one reason why I like doing embroidered baby blankets because I can have my blanket embroidering on the hoop and I could go sew or pin or weed my vinyl from my Cricut. It's just, it's really nice being able to set your machine and be able to like walk away from it. I've made little shirts, onesies on my PE 770 and it's a pain. I, it's, it's tough. I tried making a baby Yoda onesie, kind of like um, Gabby's and it turned out horrible. So I just kind of gave up on making shirts. It's definitely doable, it's just for the amount of work and effort you have to put into making a onesie on like a P800 or a P770, it's just doesn't, it's not worth it to me. So I wanna be able to multitask and do as many things at once so I can try and get as many orders out. And if I have to sit with the machine, that's just money that you could be waste, like you're wasting money almost. I got my um, pocket designs, Nadia, off of Etsy. Um, I just typed in um, embroidered pocket um, for a t-shirt and it popped up. And it came with um, three faux pockets and three real pockets and they're like different designs. And then it also comes in like 11 different sizes too. So you can make little kids shirts and you can make adult shirts too. Eighteen crafty. Crafty Boutique, true, yeah, time is money. So I'm trying to use my time as efficiently as possible so I can make more money, I guess. Hey, Brittany, thanks for coming by. I miss you. What are you up to tonight? And how are you feeling? Brittany, are you ready for our three boys to have like all matching outfits on like holidays, like Easter and stuff. They're gonna be so cute together. Sonata, yeah, I love buying off Etsy. Um, they just, there's so many cute designs and I like being able to support like other small businesses too. So Etsy's usually my go-to when it comes to embroidery designs. I know there's a bunch of other websites. I was watching um, Live Simply one of her videos, I believe. No, it wasn't hers, it was somebody's. I can't remember whose video I was watching, but they got designs from Juju, and oh my God, the designs from that website are so cute. I miss you, just making some homemade pizza, mmm. 
I'm feeling a little better today, just tired. I can't wait to see our boys run wild. I know, me too. Hey, Dressed by Mia. Thanks for stopping by. So this is stitching out perfect. It's just a bummer that the pocket and like the size of this design, you can't really see the bunnies too well. So I think I'll save this design for more like a adult size shirts or maybe older kid shirts. It's hard to do on the toddler size. I have to clean my sewing room and make room for my Cricut. Well, so Nadia, that might be for me, that would be like good motivation to get my room clean. My sewing room is actually a filth, or my sewing slash storage room is filthy right now. It's such a mess, and um, I actually need to make some room in that room because I have something coming that's gonna take up a lot of space. So I need to have that room like organized as much as possible. <laughs> Pauline, yeah, I'm ready, must be feeling left out. So this design is done already. Okay. I'll try and show you guys this way. I'm gonna take it off the hoop, but that's how it came out. Let me take it off the hoop so you guys can see it. Uh, Sonadia, yes, this design that I have, it does do a placement stitch. It does. Okay, guys, hopefully I don't cut the shirt. <laughs> Ready? You're too much. Uh, I feel you, Sonadia. My room is... I have two big shelves right now for all my fabric, but I'm actually going to need, like, probably, like, three shelves to get, like, everything organized on, like, how I want it to be organized. And my house is super small, so trying to organize everything is... it's quite challenging. Um, let's see... No, Jenny, I haven't said the surprise yet. I haven't. Okay, so here is the pocket tee. As you can see, you can't really see the bunny rabbit too much. You can kind of see an egg. So I don't think I will use this fabric for at least these size shirts, but it still came out pretty cute. Okay, that was so fast though. Imagine adding these to your shop. Like you could make a, bu a bunch of these super easily. Okay, now I have an 18 month old or 18 month size um, shirt. I'm gonna make another one. This time, this time I'm gonna use this little dog one. She is keeping us in suspense. I know, I'm so sorry. Um, one reason why I, I haven't told you guys yet is just because I wanna make sure everything works out first. Hold on one second. Do you think if I turn this on, it's gonna make noise a little? No. Keep it I had to turn the fan on. I'm burning up. So cold. You're cold? I'm like burning up right now. Okay, so I have my little piece of fabric. I cut it to like a four by four size. And because this fabric is somewhat directional, I'm keeping that in mind when, um, um, picking the top of the pocket. Okay. 
Oh, Sonatia, cute. I actually haven't added any dog bandanas, any new ones at least, to my shop in a while. I need to do that though, that's for sure. I'm gonna be making a whole nother Etsy just for all my dog stuff. Um, I'm gonna be naming it after one of my dogs. So lost chat. I'm seeing Boston baked beans. Oh my gosh, ready? You're too much. <laughs> no, no, no tooting. Yes, no tooting. Dude, my son Mason, my youngest, the little redhead, he farts like a grown man. No joke. He farts so loud. So, so loud. I'm trying to come up with a name for a little business idea. Okay, well, Sonadia, can you tell us more about your business? Like, what is it mostly focusing on? And then we'll try and help you come up with a name. Mom! <laughs> Where is my machine? I gotta bust out the sewing machine again. <laughs> I'm thinking based off of like Mason's personality, I don't think he's gonna be the type of kid that gets embarrassed. At least to me, I think he, uh, I don't think he's gonna care. I think he's just gonna be one of those boys that is always burping, always farting. Always doing nasty stuff. What's going on over here? Okay. <laughs> yes, Carmen been tooting since a young age. <laughs> Shreddy, you're crazy. Why are you telling my eyes? Oops. Now we all are going to be on the lookout for it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna tell you guys a funny story. So when I was vegan, obviously I was eating a lot of like- oh, you said I just imagined she was vegan. Oh my God. <laughs> uh, when I was vegan, you know, I ate a lot of fiber and hold on one second. <laughs> Where was I? Oh, when I was vegan and I was teaching um, in the, the middle of my math lesson, uh, one just accidentally just popped out. <laughs> and all my students, like half of them like played it off, but I could tell that they heard it. And then one of like my favorite students started busting up laughing, but she was like trying so hard to not make it obvious. <laughs> but yeah. It was it was pretty it was embarrassing, but I have I had really sweet students, so they didn't make it too embarrassing for me. 
Oh my gosh, yeah. My, going plant-based was, uh, it was hard, on, not hard on my stomach, but my stomach wasn't as happy, I guess I should say. Um, where's my stabilizer? Sorry guys, I'm talking about um, stuff like that. I guess I should change the topic. Uh, I think it was my fault. Of course, of course. You're always uh, getting everyone off task. I'm pretty sure if me and Eric were like in the same class together as kids, my gosh, we'd be getting in so much trouble together. We just kind of like feed off each other, which is not good. <laughs> it's natural, yeah. Yes, actually you did, you walked right in to the perfect time. I swear, I'm, I'm much more mature than this. Uh, So have you guys noticed an increase in sales um, since uh, the, what is it called? The stimulus check has came out. I feel like I've been more busy now than before I was like during Christmas time. <laughs> it's all fun. Yes, it's all fun. So I'm doing an 18 month size shirt this time. Um, I don't know if I need to adjust the pocket size, but we'll see. I'm gonna test it out and see if I need to do a smaller pocket for the for this size shirt. Um, I'm hoping it'll look fine. If I don't seem that energetic tonight, guys, I'm so sorry. It's just because I stayed up till 5 a.m. And it's starting to hit me now. More like 5.30, my husband stayed up till six. He was actually the one that made sure my video went live. Hey, Gabby. You can't keep a secret with me, Mr. Fajita. No secrets. Yes, Pauline, thank you for the reminder. If you're just popping in, um, do you mind hitting that like button? I have 72 watching right now. Holy cow. I didn't even realize that many people were watching. Well, hello. Are you using the pocket settings on the PE800? Um, no, Char, I don't think so. There's pocket settings on the PE800. I, I just found a um, an embroidery design on Etsy, and that's what I'm using. Thank you, Gabby, for hitting that like button. Appreciate it. Anybody working on videos tonight that they'll have up? Maybe tonight or tomorrow? Yes, Eric posted another video. Or Mr. Fajita posted another video. Can you change my name to Mr. Fajita? Um, I maybe. Uh, I just like calling you Mr. Fajita. I think it has a good... It sounds like a, it has a good flow to it.
Yes, you should definitely go watch his. Hey, Angela. Thanks for stopping by. Everyone say hi, Angela. Hi, Angela. <laughs> Uh, I loved your new video that you posted today. All those shirts you made are super cute. Do you feel like the, I can't say it, the DTG machine, do you feel like that in the long run will make you more profit than doing embroidery? Mr. Fajita, yep. I think we should change his name to Mr. Fajita. Okay, so I have my shirt hooped. So for this fabric, what color for the outline should I do for this one? Should I do like a green, black, white? I even have like gold too. I don't know if gold would look good with that. What do you guys think? All right. I want to get a DT, DTG machine one day. I want to get like every machine there is. Ooh, 14k holy cow but you're able to bust out so many shirts that I feel like it it would pay for itself in like no time <laughs> um, I miss seeing Roman in your videos oh my gosh Roman is so cute that I think I don't know if it was on Instagram or in your YouTube video of Roman dancing to like Madagascar, his little chunky little legs. So cute. Yes, Cindy, those AJ Blank shirts, um, they, oh, they're a game changer. <sighs> Ashley C, well, I'm happy that I'm able to motivate you to keep working on your single needle machine. Like you could do so much with um, one of these machines. You know, a multi-needle definitely makes things a lot easier, but you could still do so much. Like these pocket shirts, takes me 10 minutes, if that, to make one. Mm, yeah, doing mock-ups, Angela, is so, so nice. I actually need to do mock-ups for some of my HTV shirts. Does he watch that movie like every single day? My son um, was like that with Boss Baby. He doesn't really like it anymore. He's more into like watching Nerf Wars on YouTube. He's only two, but he's obsessed with Nerf guns and having like little Nerf battles. Like he's uh, so he's, funny. He when he gets shot. Oh yeah, him and Mason now. So if we like fake pretend to like shoot him with a Nerf gun, he'll like be so dramatic and like collapse on the floor and pretend like he got hurt. It's, they're, bo they're both crack ups. I need to get it on video for you guys. <laughs> well, I'm doing St. Patty Day, um, not mock-ups, but shirts right now. Every single day, oh my gosh. At least it's a cute movie. What is Riley's favorite movie? What does she like to watch? Mason, he's into Dinosaurs 2. Robot Wars. Blippy. Oh, Blippy. Blip, Blippy? I always say Blimpy. I always say Blimpy with Blippy. Blippy. He says Triceratops? Oh my gosh. That's impressive. How old is he? Same. I think he's a month older than Mason. Month or two older than Mason. That's a big word to say. Anna, or Anna, your son's all about dinosaurs too. Oh, they're so, Mason like likes to growl and pretend he's a dinosaur. 
She said all the movies. Nice. <laughs> I'm a movie junkie too. This is one of his favorite dinosaurs right now. <laughs> we have toys everywhere. He's 15 months. Mason is. I don't even know. I'm so bad. So he was born in October, November, December, January. So he's 15 months? 15 months. 15 months? Something like that. When was Roman born? Mason was born October 24th. He's also into throwing everything in the bathtub. Hey, it's better than the bath. It's better in the bathtub than in the toilet. Um, oh, really? So they're like almost the same exact age. Mason, October tenth. Oh yeah. So they're like so close in age. Aw, I think when I started following you, you were, I want to say like three, four months pregnant with him. And that's one reason why I started watching you because I was pregnant at the same time. So I was like, oh, she's hustling and she's pregnant. Okay, she's she's the type of motivation I need right now. <laughs> Red E, does your son claw your eyes out? Uh, he, Mason is so mean to, to Mr. Fajita. I feel bad. He gets beat up all the time. Oh, Kelly, thank you for subscribing, and I'm happy that you um, were able to catch one of my lives. I'm going to be live streaming on Tuesdays and Saturdays from 5 to 7. And oh, my gosh, Cindy. I remember when I was younger, my little brother, he threw a ball in the toilet and flushed the toilet and clogged the toilet. So he pinches us. Oh, my gosh, Mason likes to, like, pinch my cheeks and it hurts so bad <laughs> he just walks up to us and kicks us oh my god he actually does that to my nana and i feel so bad because she's 78 or 79 and the last time he went over there my um mom told me he like kicked her and was throwing things at her it's so hard not to laugh Ugh. it's hard not to laugh but i'm like i, I gotta teach him not to do that i'm not laughing when i'm getting my eyes closed Oh my God, he's, Mason like beat, like slapped me in front of everyone at the post office because I took him out of his stroller to put him in the car seat and he wasn't having it. And he just went bop, right across my face. And I was like, oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my hoop. You guys didn't say what color. Should I do green, black, White or gold? Mm. Okay. Mm. So two, say black, three, four. So black, gold, black, Five, black, 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 green. Black. Was green an option? I said green, yeah, I have this color green. <laughs> I was like, wait, I didn't see green. I don't know how that looks. I don't think that goes. I'm um, gonna get a lot of blacks, I think. Black? Okay. Go black. Let's go black. your comment Kelly okay uh so excited for Tuesday and Saturdays I know you said that you want to get a multi-needle machine but you still recommend getting a brother 800 to start well if you don't have like money to invest in like a big multi-needle I would say get the PE 800 um uh what was I gonna say um but yeah I would start small I started small just because I don't have the money quite yet to get the big machine so I'm just making this one work until I have enough money saved up to do a town payment. 
um, because I'm not able to finance currently at the moment. Hit that like button on the way in and subscribe if you haven't. Help me to grow, grow, grow. Yes, please, if you haven't liked. And if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do both. There's 87 watchers now, so if you guys can try and get me to 87 likes, that would be so nice. Did you link your embroidery file? Um, I didn't link it. Um, I will post it on my Discord. Sandy, are you part of my Discord? If not, I can always post it in the comments of this live stream once it posts. But basically, I went on to Etsy and just typed in embroidered pocket for t-shirt, and um, it should pop up. Char, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, I've mentioned it already, but I'll mention it again. Any super chats or any money that I'm making off of YouTube or any like of my affiliate links, any money that I earn from that. Um, I opened up a savings account last night. Um, so all that money is going straight to my savings account for a multi-needle. Oh. <laughs> he's such a good dancer. Like he, he dances like he, Blippi. He's so good. Blippi can dance. Blippi can dance. He's he definitely can. I'm a little jealous. How cute. You need to record that and post it. I want to see. Uh, let, let him know I'm posting the Discord link. Okay. Um, if you want to join my Discord, uh, Mr. Fajita or Ready Hustle is going to post the link to Discord. Um, that's where I post most of like all my links and stuff just because it's the easiest for me. Um, so if you want to join, hit that link and sign up. It's totally free too. You just have to download an app or um, you can do it on your computer too. I can only dance, Angela, when I have like a few tequila shots in front of, or not in front of me, but in me. Two. In front of me too, yeah. <laughs> so do a little happy dance. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Brittany, we need when neither one of us are pregnant or we have babysitters for our babies, we need to go to Reno or Tahoe and hit the club so we can just have fun and dance. Oh, thanks mom. Shelly's my mom. Everyone say hi mom or hi Shelly. You're so nice. Thank you. Cindy Moncada, I never have seen Harry Potter either. My husband always gives me crap for it. And I have. I literally own all the movies on Blu-ray, and I still have yet to watch all of them. I'm looking forward to, to um, reading the chapter books, though, with my boys. Like, that's something I'm really looking forward to. Okay, this shirt is coming out way better than the first one I did. I like this fabric way better. Melanie, you've never seen Harry Potter or Star Wars, holy moly. I've seen every Star Wars. I'm a big Star Wars fan. Um, isn't it cute, Cindy? I really like this fabric. I need to go get more of it before it sells out. Hey, Alicia. You haven't watched Harry Potter either? Okay, I don't feel as bad then because you're a teacher as well. And I feel like as a teacher, like, I should have read Harry Potter, you know? Star Wars over Harry Potter. I would say so too just because... I like more space and galaxy kind of type of movies than like witchcraft. I do like witchcraft and stuff like that, um, but I'm more into Star Wars. Thank you, Sandy, for joining my Discord. Stacy, it's a no for Star Wars for you. Do you like Harry Potter then? Okay, we need to do a we need to do a Star Wars watch party starting with episode one. <laughs> Apparently, Eric 
for Mr. Fajita wants to do a Star Wars watch party. Maybe we need to do a Harry Potter watch party too. I love to watch Harry Potter when they do the marathons on TV. We'll do a Harry Potter uh, podcast. Oh, a Harry Potter podcast. The there we go. Is so much better than movies. Really? So much better. I mean, Never seen Star Wars either. Wait, what? You have not seen Star Wars? Oh my gosh. I guess that's how people feel too when I tell them I've never seen um, Harry Potter. No. Star Wars. <laughs> uh, you like true crime. Yeah, Eric likes to listen to true crime on like podcasts. He got me into it, but when I started listening to them, I started to get too like paranoid and then gets to the point where I'm like, okay, I don't even want to leave my house because now I'm like constantly looking over my shoulder. You've never seen Star Wars or Harry Potter, Kelly? Oh my gosh. What? Crime junkie. I only recently saw Back to the Future. Same here. Eric made me watch it like a month ago, I want to say. And it was actually really good. I liked it. Does anyone listen to the last podcast on the left? Okay, type a one if you listen to the podcast. What is it the called? The last podcast on the left. The last podcast on the left. Do you guys listen to them? Put a one if you listen to them. My favorite murder is cool too. I wish I wish we could like like each other's um, comments in the chat. I like true crime. That's when the podcasts are good was when they scare you. If not, I don't listen. I like getting scared. I love, like, I'm a big horror buff. I love horror movies. But when it comes to, like, true crime, like, that's just too, too real for me. And it's like when I'm out with, like, my boys by myself, I'm even more, like, uh, paranoid because I don't want someone to snatch me up or my kids. Yes, we need to do like a, a Harry Potter and Star Wars marathon for everyone who hasn't yeah. seen that, neither one of them. I listen to podcasts on the way to work in the mornings. I'm always like bumping like <laughs> just music really loud and I always feel bad for Eric when he gets into my car to like drive and the radio turns on and it's just like boom. So I like to drive and like get into the, like the song. I like to rap it and sing. Even though I can't do neither one of those, I still uh, I like to to party when I'm driving. I guess criminal minds. I love uh, true crime junkie podcast. Or I'm a I love crime junkie podcast. That's all I watch. I grew up on scary movies and true crime. I need to watch Harry Potter and Star Wars someday. Or one day. Yes, you definitely should. Yeah, I grew up um, watching horror movies. Like, when I was five, I was, like, watching Poltergeist, the original It, uh, what else, Chucky. Um, just, like, every horror movie a five-year-old probably shouldn't watch, I watched. And I, I just love getting, I love getting scared. I love going to like haunted houses and things like that. That's like this Halloween was such a bummer because we weren't really able to like do much during this Halloween. So hopefully next year we'll, we'll be able to like get all creeped out and spooked out. Okay guys, I like, I like, I like your color choice. The black with this pocket square came out so cute. Okay, so I also just noticed the time. Um, it's 6.43, I actually have to go pick up my boys from my mom's house. So I'm gonna show you guys how this shirt came out. And then I'm gonna have to go pick up my babies. Oh my gosh, the same thing with It, Angela, when, um, I don't know if you've seen It, but there's this scene the uh, in the original where like blood like shoots out of the bathtub. And when I was like five, I was so terrified of the drain of the bathtub. I couldn't like be in the bathroom when the bathtub was draining. It like freaked me out. Weren't you afraid of Jaws and 
dimples or something? Oh my gosh, and then Jaws. My grandpa <laughs> made me watch Jaws too when I was really young. And then for like the longest, I had a hard time going to like the deep end of the pool because I was so scared of like a shark or something. So I still need to do tender touch on the back of this. It's in my craft room somewhere. I have to like go search for it. Uh, I still think the grudge is gonna get me when I take the the sh a shower and wash my hair. Uh, surprisingly, I haven't seen the grudge yet. We just had that conversation the other day. My husband wants me to watch it. Yeah. Okay guys, good choice with the black. I love, love, love how this turned out. So I'll definitely be adding this one to my shop too. Um, the bunny rabbit one, I'm not sure if I should add this one to my shop. What do you guys think? Should I look for a different fabric for Easter? Because I just feel like these bunny rabbits don't show up enough, especially on the smaller shirts. I'm not too sure about the bunny rabbit one, but this one, good choice on the black. Oh, the Candyman was so scary. They are remaking it though. The Candyman? Yep. They should have been out because of quarantine. I swear. Mm. It probably would look good with the gold. I'm thinking I'll make a girl version of this shirt and I'll do gold for like the girl version. But this came out so cute. I love it. I'm, a, I'm seriously obsessed. I'm gonna go like on a shopping spree and buy a ton of these AJ blanks because one, they stitch out nicely and I'm addicted now. I'm officially addicted. Hmm. Okay, Angela, I'll post it and see how it does. I just, the bunnies, you can't really see them on here, but um, when I do like make a shirt for a customer, I'll make sure and place the fabric where you can actually see the bunny rabbit. Sandra, yeah, it's really hard to find a P800 right now that's in stock and not like a ridiculous amount. <laughs> You're right, Angela. Yeah, I already made it, so I might as well post it. That's true. I've never seen Candyman, so I guess I guess I need to watch it now. Yes, Kelly. Um, the AJ blanks are really soft. They're also like I don't want to say like super thick, but they're per like a perfect density for embroidery, so like the shirt doesn't get caught in the machine. Um, so I would say that it's kind of thick, but it is super soft, and it's. Nice and stretchy. And then Eric can, or Mr. Fajita, can you um, add uh, my AJ Blanks link real fast? Sure. Um, so if you guys want to get any of these shirts, um, if you guys use my link, I get like a small little commission and any commission that I'm getting for from that, I'm saving towards my multi-needle, so. If you are in need of some good quality blanks, make sure to click that link. And then um, if you buy, you'll be helping me out and then you're also helping Angela Jasmine out too. Meba, I mean, hopefully I'm saying your name right. Yes, AJ blanks are amazing. Yes, like I'm hooked. I'm officially hooked now. Yeah, Sandy, I'm thinking I need to find a smaller bunny print. I'm going to go to Joanne's tomorrow because I need to get some supplies for some orders. So I'm going to take a look and see what other Easter fabrics I could find. Yes, Angela, she's trying to buy that house. So if you need blanks, buy some. And Angela, when you do get that house, I want to I wanna see a house tour. I think we all want to see a house tour, right, guys? Put a one in the chat if you want to see a house tour when she gets her dream home. Yes, I need my catalog, yes. Because I have a Kia Sorento right now and trying to fit my two car seats in the back seat is a struggle. So I need um, I need some more room in the back seat. What? One, one, one. All right, we want to see a house tour, Just Angela. Just the inside, Angela. <laughs> Don't box yourself. No, no house tour? Okay. She had stalkers. Stalkers, yeah. Definitely don't show the outside of your house. And she says, get it like a fat property, you know, up in the hills. Mm -hmm. No one's going to find you. An empty house tour. There you go. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, I didn't have to go pick up my boys for my mom's. Um, it was a lot of fun. Yep, super creepy. Yeah. 
Uh, but anyways, I have to go pick up my boys from my mom. So it was fun hanging out with you guys. I will... Subscribers showed up to my house and kept ringing the doorbell. <gasps> that is creepy. That's too creepy. Oof. Definitely a line. Yeah. Oof, I wouldn't like that. So hopefully no one ever does that uh, to me because that would be very creepy. Okay, I gotta go. I will see you guys next time. I'll be live streaming again on Tuesday from 5 to 7. So if you're available that night, come hang out. Bye, guys. Hey. <laughs> you say bye. Bye.